Okay, um, Charlie Bow 313 interviews um, people from the hoods in America. Uh, interesting channel, for me at least. Um, this is from May 2020. Different hoods respond to Corona. So um, this is quite early on, and this guy here, oh, he gets it. They cut him a bit short, but he gets it. You listen to what he says here. I just look at it, I mean, how this beautiful thing is. Damn, it just showed me how much control the government really got. Because how the fuck, how the fuck did our life just change that fast? <laughs> like, we wearing masks and shit, like this shit right out of a movie, you know what I'm saying? We in there, we in the mix, we don't got no control, we don't know what's going on behind the door until they want us to know, like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, niggas feel helpless, and, and the only way to defend yourself against the tyranny is like, the bag, you need some paper, you know like, to save yourself, because that's it. You can't do it long, because our people don't want to stick together, except for the small groups, and when you can put us in a small group, we get angry about the government and go, nuts, so, you know what's going on right now, let me ask y'all something like that. You see how, how he cut him short? He was making every perfect point there. Every perfect point. So, uh, respect to him. Anyway, uh, let's carry on. We got a uh, comparison here. I'm going to do a comparison between New York 1911 and 2021. So, here we go. New York 1911. I mean, talk about posh, civilized, upscale. This is, of course, 1911, before World War I, brought by you-know-who, and Bolshevik communism brought by the same people, the same people that rule now, and World War II, etc. So, that's, that's before, and I, I've seen a video of um, Leningrad, well, St. Petersburg, uh, around the same time, and it was just as posh as this. Oh yeah, it was. Now let's have a look at, uh, well, just up the road, Philadelphia, um, or a tent there. Of course, this is the most famous street. This is Kensington Avenue, which is um, a bit ironic considering Kensington in London. Now, um, check this out. <clears throat> this is Charlie Bow uh, interviewing some guys in uh, Mississippi. 
check that building behind there, right? What does it say? Administration office, vineyard, new sanctuary, old dod or something like that. But look, look at it. See that? I'll compare again. Man, we run the man, man. Hey, God, man. Tell them folks on that camera. Hey, I got to in on my man. I'm so glad I'm man. Big G White, man. Big G White. You know, man, this nigga got shot up and this shit look like it. You hear me? Okay, so. Now, if you understand what he just said, he just said he got shot seven times in 2015. So hence, you know, gee whiz, so it's a bit rough. I mean, what happened? What happened? But don't confuse the gun confiscation for anything but rendering the Goyim defenseless against the uh, controlled Bolshevik future. Speaking of which, let's have a look at guns. This is Chicago. It seems to me Chicago from from the videos is the number one area in terms of just mad shooting danger. This shit real. I was gonna get y'all issue, bro. So y'all come through this bitch playing, y'all know what it is, but we got 50 seconds anyway. What, 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 what the heck is that? Draco. Draco with a drum. Draco. 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 The weapon of choice. <laughs> yeah, so that's it, that's that gun. But, like I say, don't go confusing. Don't go confusing because they they want the gun confiscation for another reason, which is to render you defenseless, to destroy what is it the Second Amendment, your right to overthrow a tyrannical government um, forcibly if if you have to. They want to make sure that they just steamroll you with more extreme measures like we've just had, and you can't. Defend yourself, especially with the uh, second American Civil War coming, phase five.